Hello, I'm Susanna Jones, one of the librarians at the Chatham Area Public Library. I wanted to quickly show you how to access the New York Times online for free from our website. We're going to start at the library's website, www.chathamlib.org. We'll hover over the Research tab and select the Databases page. This is a list of all of the electronic databases ebook and streaming video services you have access to. Scroll down and open the newspapers and magazines heading and scroll down to find the New York Times. Click the access from home link and that will take you to this screen where you will need to redeem the code. Click the redeem button. You'll then be asked to create a free account. You can use your Google, Facebook, or Apple information to quickly create an account, or you can enter your email address and create a password. Click the Create Account button once you've filled out your information. When you first create an account, it will ask you what topics you'd like to see in a daily newsletter that will be sent to your email. You can click the Maybe Later button down at the bottom if you don't want to receive their newsletter. If you already have an account, click the login link at the very bottom of the screen. Now you can enter your information and click login. It will then take you to a screen that confirms your 72 hour access. After those three days, you will need to redeem the code from our library page again. Click Continue, and that will take you to the New York Times online. Now you can read today's news and explore the many topics across the top of the page. This site is more robust than the print paper and contains sections such as the New York Times Magazine, and videos of news stories. You can also see the paper with just the articles that were in the print edition by clicking on today's paper in the upper right corner. Once here, you can change the date in the dropdown and you can see the paper on different days. We hope you enjoy staying up to date on news with the New York Times Online, brought to you by the Chatham Area Public Library.